Hi, welcome back to Drew's Lab. Um, we're going to be looking at the ZB Lite Pro that we sell and um, we're going to be doing some frequently asked questions as we get quite a lot of questions about it. Now it's a great selling product. You can use it for zero and um, night vision scopes, thermal scopes, red dot sights. It does a whole range of things and it fits in a whole range of products. So we'll just quickly talk you through some of the things that we get asked and explain this to you clearly so that you can understand before you purchase the unit. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is the mount. The ZB Light Pro uh, is a weaver style mount here to a weaver style mount here. Now if you've got a dovetail it probably won't fit it needs to be a weaver rail similar to the one that's up on here that needs to be on your rifle. However, if we can pan back down here, we do supply free of charge if you ask is if you have an air rifle, a weaver style adapter. Now this weaver style adapter here is a 9 to 11 mil dovetail, but it's designed for air rifles only. Some rimfires have this, but if they've got a curved receiver, I wouldn't recommend them. They probably won't fit. They're designed for a flat type receiver and you can see there but if you ask us we will supply these free of charge so they just come in and they clamp um, so as I said to you it's weaver to weaver if you don't have weaver mounts on your rifle scope or whatever you're going to fit on here then you will probably need to purchase these from somewhere they also got the action bar here to stop the the to locate the actual ZB as well and it is removable it comes with a kit an allen key here to remove it um, Again, it's for a weaver style, it won't fit Picatinny, uh, which is smaller, but you, so you, you need to bear that in mind, okay? So let's talk about calibers. I get a lot of questions, guys asking me, will this fit in a 357 Magnum? Or uh, the, the ZB Light Pro was designed for rim fires, air rifles and small centre fires. Now I have tried it on 270s and it all depends on the weight because the weight that goes on the top has an effect on the recoil. I would recommend no larger than 223 calibre and without a lot of weight on it. We did put an ATN X-8 2 on it and it worked but it didn't work very well on a 223 because of the weight on the top. It will take a photon on a rim fire however quite easily um, but I would say smaller centre fires is more suitable but I mean I've tried it with 270, 303 and it groups about a 2 inch group but it doesn't so really small centre fires is what you want. Okay so another thing that we've had with quite a few customers when you get the ZB sometimes that they are not centred. Now before you put it on the rifle we suggest that you centre it. And you can see here, this one is not centred. Now, the actual weaver, if you could pan back a wee bit, pivots on this point here. It moves that way and that way, and it moves up and down. It doesn't move parallel. It moves on a pivot. And you can see here, this one is right over to the one side. If my lovely assistant pauses this just now. So you can see here I've wound on the left and the right here, I have wound it over to the gap sort of even on both sides. So you should make sure that it is even on both sides before you put it on the rifle. Because a lot of people were putting them on and finding that they were running out of adjustment. But this was purely because they had set it up wrong in the first place. Same goes on the up and the down here. You want to make sure it's sort of parallel with the base here before you put it on. That way you know you'll get the maximum travel for the elevation. So the ZB comes with three Allen keys and it must be noted here that some, some people have mentioned that these look worn but actually they come as a lacquered finish so it's not quite as good as a phosphate finish. Um, but the Allen keys, we've got this Allen key here, this one removes the bar for the weaver rail which you can see here but we only suggest you do that if you absolutely have to. Um, this one here comes to tighten the clamping screws for the weaver rail at the sides. And it comes with this third one here. Now this will let you slacken this Allen screw which is in here. Um, which is in here. And this will give you, if you turn this, according to the instructions, half a turn, it gives you a bit of more elevation. 
But before you do that, we suggest that you try putting ZB on both ways. And I'm just going to show you this in the next video because one way it gives a slightly bit more elevation. Okay. So the ZB here is on this dummy stock with the rail. And uh, this is the normal way that it sits on. So it's go up, down, left, right. The controls are what they say. But however, the ZB can be put on. And one of the troubles with putting it on this way is the scope can be too far forward, giving you bad eye relief. However, it can be put on the other way. And if we just pause this video, I'll show you that. Okay, so we've now uh, rotated the ZB around 180 degrees and put it on backwards. We've put a, a Prismax rifle scope on it, which it's actually designed for. Um, but again, that's just one of the things that you can use it for. Night vision, thermal, or oh, red dot sights, a whole host of things. Um, the only problem with putting it on this way is the controls are reversed. So right is left and left is right, down is up. Uh, but it still works perfectly. It does give better eye relief, however, in this situation. And it can also give more travel on the up and down so before you go adjusting all the screws on it um, it's worth doing that trying it the other way if it will fit so you can see here we've got the zb pro and we've got a prismax um 10 by 32 rifle scope now the prismax scopes are something that's fairly new that's out you'll see other ones um they have um no parallax there are really because the way they work, they're prismatic scopes, the optics are phenomenal in them, they've got a third of a bigger field of view. This one here is just a plain one with an illuminated reticle, but as I say, the, you can use it on the ZB. Another product that we'd like to point out is the ZB Extended, and that's quite good too because you can fit a rifle scope here and then you can fit like a an image uh, intensifier or something on the front here. So these have proven quite popular as well. So this is extended version here and it can go on both ways. It's a bit more expensive. I think it's 10 pounds more than what the actual standard one is, but they seem to sell quite well also. We also do a laser range finding version of this scope with Bluetooth, which talks to your phone. And that's the Prismax LRF. And you might have seen some of my videos on that, but it's quite good. Um, so thanks for watching this video and I hope this helps.